I've had this for a while now, and it's been a lot of fun putting the Mini 4 Pro through its paces, learning what it can do and what it needs a little bit of work on. The RC2 controller is also great. It allows me to have the screen here as opposed to using a smartphone. One of the things that becomes pretty obvious pretty quickly is the film doesn't have sound. You can record sound on this, but it's not easy to figure out. At least not for me. So what I was able to figure out was how to put sound on the RC2 so I can sync it up with the video. I've got a challenge coming up where there's going to be a marching band situation where I'm going to want to record the sound of the marching band while I film the marching band from above. And I'm also curious on whether or not you need an expensive microphone or a rather cheap microphone. I've evaluated both these microphones for a smartphone. This one is what I call the economy version at around $20 to $25. This one is a DJI comparable but half the price at $125. Using the camera on the Mini 4 Pro, I was able to record test for both of these, trying to figure out which one was best not only for me but for you. Do you see value in a $25 version of the microphone? Can you work with that or do you want a higher price one? At 125 seems to have the same specs as the DJI microphone at half the price. <clears throat> so let's go to a top down shot. I'll show you how you set up the RC2 for recording and how you plug in these two kinds of microphones. What better way to record what's going on here than to use the camera on the DJI to do so? This is an unsponsored video. I'm paying for this with my own money, but this will give you a sense of what I'm doing here. With the flame, it comes with both the lightning port, if you have an old iPhone, and then the USB-C port. Since I'm using the USB-C port, I'm going to plug it in, and then you use the jack right here and plug it in this way. Then to record, all you do is you pull down twice, the volume on the unit here at halfway. I'm not sure that makes a difference, but who knows. You got your microphone here, and then you hit record, and then it will automatically come up, and you start recording. If you want to stop recording, you just hit this stop button right here, and that's it. And this has a nice little charging port. You can't put the wind covers on and shut it, so you have to take those off. Take this out, and you adjust the DB with this little button here, I'll show you the video, but what I think I like to leave it on is two to three. And then for stereo, it comes mono. You just hold this in for a bit, this button right here that says DB, and then it will switch the stereo. And then when you want to put it back in a case, you just take this off like that, and then put it down. Close it up, and then I just put these in an extra bag in my DJI case. Now I'm doing the full aim microphone. I'm in mono mode, not stereo. I'm at 3 dB out of 5 dB on the bar here. An arm's distance out, probably 18, 20 inches. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Now up to my face. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Now halfway, about 12 inches. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Now I'm going to clip it on where it was when I recorded the other day. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. I'm going to put it in my pocket and zip it up. Let's see how it does. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Now for this one, I can adjust the dB. So I'm going to go down to one dB on this little sensor here. Arms length out about 18, 20 inches. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Up to my mouth. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Out about 12 inches away. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Now, down here, about where I had it when I was flying the DJI during flight test one. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Now, in the pocket. Zip it up. Test one, two, three. 
test one, two, three. And you know, and just to show you, I'm gonna ramp it up to five. And this is what I had it on. See how that goes. Maybe I just put it on five and put it in a pocket. Here we are out 18, 20 inches. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Up to my mouth. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. 12 inches. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Back where I had it. On flight test one. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. This one has a nice little container that comes with it too, although it's less expensive. It has two microphones, just like this one has two microphones. And it comes with a lightning port adapter and a USB-C. For the USB-C, you just plug it in to the RC controller like that. And you make sure that the button is on. There's a little on off button here. Press it for a couple seconds. And this little green light will come on once you have it plugged in. And then it comes with these foamy covers. I took a kid's fuzzy mitten, cut off one of the fingertips of the fuzzy mitten, and that just gives it a windsock kind of like this here. Like I did before, you just bring it down twice, you hit record, and you're good to go on this. So this is a test of the economy microphone, one that can run anywhere from $15 to $25 on Amazon. Unlike the full aim, where you can adjust the dBs, this one, you're just kind of stuck with where you are. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Up to my mouth. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. 12 inches out. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Clipped onto a jacket. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. In the pockets. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. What do you think? I decided to do one more test on the full aim. I'm getting some mail to mail USB C connectors because I think it'd be valuable to have this thing sitting flat with the controller. Arm length, one, two, three, one, two, three. Up to my mouth, one, two, three, one, two, three. 12 inches, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I'm going to clip it on the way it was for flight one. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now I'm gonna zip it and put it in my pocket. One, two, three, one, two, three. What do you think? Which one is best? Now that you have all the files on the RC2 controller, I'm using this data cable, which I got with the full aim microphone set. You plug it into the USB-C port on the RC2 unit, and then whatever interfaces to your laptop, in this case, it's just a regular USB-C. You have to have this unit on. I made a folder called DJI RC2 videos. December, and then I'm going in to my computer and you'll see this thing that looks like a smartphone, but it's actually DJI RC2. Click that. If you have a backup disk like I do, you can migrate to there and double click on that. You've got a whole bunch of different options here and you want to avoid everything but movies. Click on that. And there's all of your screenshots. View, details. I've got the most recent videos that I've captured here and just drag them to the folder I've put on my. So that's all the files that I've done with the DJI filming me as I recorded on the RC2 controller. Now let's just open up one to show you what it looks like. So there's me. This is the view as if you were flying. You have takeoff with caution, no GPS. One of the things that I think is really interesting is that I have seven satellites. I've seen upwards to 10 to 12 satellites in my basement studio. And once you've downloaded the files, you can just unplug this and shut it down. One tap, then a long hold. Probably need to recharge that before you go out flying again. I've given this a lot of thought. This will work depending on what you want to do with the audio. 
this is a better option, although you're talking $15, $25 versus $125. So five times as much for this. The stereo was the best, which makes sense. You got two transmitter microphones, and then you got the receiver that hooks into here. It's all pretty easy. So these also work on smartphones. I'll post a video down below where I've done an evaluation of these in case you're interested. Is it worth five times as much? Yeah. Is a DJI microphone worth twice as much as this one? I don't think so. Although I haven't tried the DJI microphone and if DJI you send it to me, I certainly will give it a shot and run it up against this one. I'm not sure you're going to get much more value out of the DJI microphone at twice the price of this one right here. But overall, I've shown that you can use this to record sound, either your comments as you're flying this, which is a good thing, and also how to download it into your computer, laptop. You can also download it in the phone. That might be a future video. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in all sorts of evaluations of technology, including quadcopters, designs of all kinds, making and breaking things, I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe. Because you never know what you're gonna hear.